taking a look at this uh, VW Type 1 1600 69 millimeter crankshaft. It's counterweighted. Uh, installing brand new bearings and prior to the install you always check to make sure the correct dimension is there based on what you've ordered. One thing that's really important here is that when you install this bearing a lot of aftermarket crankshafts will allow a clearance right in here. That clearance is actually an interference between the fillet radius which is right in here at most machine shops when they undersize uh, cut the crankshaft they put a fillet radius at the end of their cut the stock bearing and all stock VW bearings are straight cut finish on the edge so what I've gone and done and you can see when you install it here and it's dry and you just be gentle it's nice and clean you can see there's a clearance there which means that fillet is riding interfering with the cut on the edge of this bearing so what I've gone ahead and done and I'm not sure if you can see it by filming yeah, you should be able to I can see the 45 that's on here is I've gone ahead and hand tooled a 45 degree fillet radius on the edge of this bearing to match the fillet radius that's been cut onto the crankshaft which should now allow this crank not to interfere and allow this bearing to sit flush against the thrust surface which it does and you can see right in here there's no clearance here now okay so you look closely with a light measure it and inspect it and uh, and then go from there on adjusting the radius that you've put on and make sure that you when you are cutting this you use a good file and a very fine emery at the very end just to take any really, uh, away any burrs that you may have made from the filing process. Good to go.